Hello everyone, my name is Arkbean, and in today's episode, we built a berry farm. Wait, did I just say built? Yes, that is correct. So, long story short, I recorded the entire video for the berry farm build, including the capturing of the fox, and it was all going to be a very fine video. Until I went into the editing process, I uploaded it in my film editor software, only to find out that my mic wasn't working. I have since fixed it, obviously you can hear my voice now. So, my entire recording of the farm build had no commentary. Which, some of you may be like, yeah, no commentary. But, that is not uh, what I'm going for here. So, this is a copy of the Pinto world. So, this is not the, er, um, this is not the actual world, so we're not cheating here. But, we're just going to go through and I'll explain everything. So... For starters, this is a berry farm, and these are berry bushes. So, how does it work? Well, the berries are automatically harvested by this little guy right here. This orange fox, which we captured from the taiga biome, which is over that way somewhere. So, foxes will run around here, and they will sit on berries. And when they, or, or sort of how you use, like you uh, uh, left click, or right click on a chest to open it open it up they'll do something similar to the berry bush and the berry will pop off and lay on the ground that's where the hopper minecart comes in the hopper minecart constantly is uh, rolling around and just like we saw with the sheep farm down below the hopper minecart will pick up items that are sitting up here on the top now I do plan to add another fox up here oops because as you can see uh, the fox is sort of staying over here, which is fine. It's still producing berries, but there's quite a few berries over here that need harvested, and the fox simply just isn't getting to them. So we'll get another fox in here, and hopefully they can cover everything. Now, the berries are offloaded here, which I will attempt to explain this very simple redstone circuit. So this component right here is a comparator. Comparators, essential, one of their functions is reading the level of fullness in um an item so we'll see if we have our we have our creative inventory here let's just grab a chest here and some redstone dust here and we have a bunch of items okay so if we come over here if we have a chest and a comparator reading it the comparator will give out a strength, a redstone strength, dependent on how full the chest is. Right now there's nothing in the chest, so there's no strength. But if I put an item in the chest, now, because there's one slot full, because there's one slot full, it only does one power. And a second slot full, I don't believe, does a second power. Yeah, this one's still not powered, because there's uh, more than 15 slots, and the maximum redstone power is 15. But if we take torches in here, fill up like so. Oh. All right, here we go. We just got to throw everything in there. Full stacks. It must be based on a percentage. So, let's see here. There we go. Just throw everything. This is a creative world. No big deal. Now you'll see the redstone signal is stronger. So that is the function of the comparator. So, the way this works is, is the redstone signal is measuring how full this hopper is. And when the minecart comes up here, lands up here, the items start going into the hopper, and there's now something for the uh, comparator to measure. When it's measuring that, it's giving off a signal into this block. Even though it's a very weak signal, it only has to go one block. Now, this redstone torch is on, but when this block is powered, it turns off. Like, it goes sort of dark at the top, it doesn't give off any light. And this redstone torch is currently powering this block. But if this is off, it's unpowered. And since this block is currently powered, that means this redstone repeater is currently powered, which means this block is currently powered, which means the rails touching the block are also powered. So the minecart will come up here and roll around freely. However, Hopefully it has something in it. Uh, didn't look like it. But we can just use some items here. If we put an item 
uh, it's going to suck them through. If we put an item in here, the comparator is now giving off a strength. The torch is off, that means this block is not powered. The repeater is off, meaning this block is not powered. And since this block is not powered, the rails touching it are not powered, and the minecart will stick right there until it has unloaded all of its items into the hopper. Once all of the items have been sucked through, let's see, it's got a bunch of them. I'll just grab some of these out. Once all the items have been through, the comparator no longer has anything to read. So the redstone torch comes back on, the block is powered, the repeater is powered, the block is powered, and the rails are powered, and all is well. So that may have seemed, might have seemed like a lot of information, but uh, once you get some experience using these redstone components, it really is a very simple circuit. And then we just simply have a hopper tower that goes behind these villagers and drops into these chests here. So this farm is not supposed to be uh, mega crazy. So even though I am adding another fox, that way we get more distribution. Maybe even at this rate, I might add two more foxes. But we'll get there when we get there. But even with three foxes, it's not going to be a crazy farm. Don't be expecting a stack of berries in a minute. So it's just a steady stream of berries coming in. And after a few hours of working on other projects around here, you should have... Uh, a good number of berries which you can trade to your butchers in case you guys were wondering if you haven't experienced haven't had a lot of experience with villagers is the butchers the ones with the uh smokers and the headbands their final trade once they've been maxed is the trade where they accept berries and give you emeralds which is a good deal since berries are otherwise fairly useless uh so in the description of this video i will have the link to the video I attempted to film so you guys can watch that if you want to know how I built it uh, the process of catching a fox which is actually not even that complicated and uh, other things like that but there won't be any talking in it which is why I'm not posting it on YouTube uh, but yeah that's pretty much it that's the whole farm uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I asked all the viewers who in the last video but you didn't actually end up hearing me to comment what we should name the little foxy boy over here. So if you guys want to, go ahead, drop a name in the comments, and I'll pick the best one out of there. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. See ya.